Welcome, welcome to another year at Hogwarts. And the actor Sir Michael Gambon has died at the age of 82. The actor Sir Michael Gambon has died peacefully in hospital at the age of 82. Sir Michael, who won four TV BAFTAs, worked across TV, film, radio and theatre in a career spanning five decades. In recent years, he played Albus Dumbledore in six of the Harry Potter films. Charlie Jones looks back on his career. Can't you the singing detective. Under my skin. What is honour? Full staff. A word. Any activity? May Gray. Welcome, welcome to another year at Hogwarts. And, of course, Dumbledore. Michael Gambon was a serious acting talent who never seemed to take it too seriously. Tom. Tom, you are sitting here. Oh, back where I started. His stage breakthrough was in Alan Akebourne's The Norman Conquest and, in particular, a scene in which he ends up dining on the little chair. You are all right where you are. Good evening, carry on. Talk amongst yourselves. No, not that woman. With the, the tables down, I ate like that. I, well, I actually saw a bloke one night fall out of his seat in the, in the circle. Fine. Laughing. I mean, we couldn't stop them. The whole house up. Brilliant. I'm Gavin Kerr of Slytherin. His first big TV role had been a bit of Scottish swashbuckling in The Borderers. Michael Gambon had grown up in London. He hated school and left without any qualifications. But he liked acting. And armed with a CV that was pure Gambon-esque invention, he got a job in Dublin. Well, they like their meat well spiced in Edinburgh. Francis goes, anyway. Just Kim, my love. He had learned his craft on the job, most crucially when Sir Laurence Olivier had taken him on now at the National. I'm sorry, the shame of this. And in 1986, the singing detective made Michael Gambon a household name. That name became associated with a certain corner on Top Gear. He enjoyed the accolade. He had a taste for devilment and hoodwinking gullible journalists. Please. Dumbledore and Harry Potter may have brought him a new global recognition, but he was defiantly unstarry. He described his face as looking like an old, wet bag. But in Beckett's age he could use it to hold an audience without saying a word. Beneath that cloak of mischief was a seriously good actor. Sir Michael Gambon, who's died at the age of 82.